Hey everyone, today is a plan with me video, but before I do that, I wanted to kind of update everyone on my actual planner stack or my system. I had made a comment that I was afraid it was getting kind of hard to follow my YouTube channel schedule because I had been jumping around so much. So let me just kind of try to hash things out here. So in May and June, I played around in a bunch of different planners. Um, I am an academic start user, so I knew in July I really wanted to have an idea of what I wanted to use. So I used some of the upcoming pages to kind of try things out. I tried a bunch of different planners. I said that in my videos. I posted those videos just trying to kind of have some fun, try some new planners and see which ones that I wanted to use for July. So here's where I landed. Um, let's kind of go through these one by one. So first of all, this is my work planner. I have a video up on that. I can't open it because now I have tons of confidential information written in it. It is a Laurel Denise vertical weekly edition or also known as their portrait planner. Um, it looks like this on the inside where you can see your month and have your weeks. Um, but it's been working out so far this summer as I prep for the upcoming school year really well. I honestly don't foresee switching planners. Um, I had a play date with one of my friends and her kids and she came over and had her planner and we were talking and I was showing her this specific layout and she's in the education field too. And she's like, oh, that's so intriguing. So I said to her and I'm saying to you, I've, this is how my brain works for school planning. I don't know what it is. Now I will say I'm not in the, in the classroom anymore. I'm in an administrative, in, in an administrative role. So this is probably staying. I don't foresee changing that. This is my daily, it's my archive. Someone also commented on one of my other videos. Do you have a favorite daily planner? Yes, I do. It's this one right here. So um, I use the month view in this planner for all of my content. I reference that. I like having that separate. I use the notes page for my YouTube video when I film, edit, upload, and schedule. And then I use the daily pages just as that. This is going to be my archive for 2425 or the book that I keep at the end of the year to reference. And so at the end of the day, I try to keep this up to date, make sure everything is in here so it's an accurate reflection of my day. Sometimes that does mean pulling information from this planner, which I'm going to talk about here in a minute. Um, but my archive, I like to have everything. So it's kind of the one that sometimes sits out on my desk and I update during the day um, as the day is going on, like a rapid logging situation. Or here, after we went on vacation, I did print some pictures and add those to the to-do section since I wasn't going to have a to-do list for the day. It does mean duplicating some information um, sometimes. A little bit more now that I'm home, which I'll explain again here in a minute, um, but I don't mind sitting down every night and making sure this is updated. It doesn't take me long at all and I really enjoy it. So this archive daily is staying in my lineup. Now, this is where I'm going to have to make a decision and I know that when the summer is over. So as I said, I'm in the education field. So I've had three months off and I've been home. So that gives me more time to plan, which I love, but I know in August, I'm not gonna be able to keep both of these up. So these are the two weekly planners that I have been planning in. Once a week, I sit down and do a big weekly planning session. I like it to be kind of an overview of my week of high level tasks, and it really helps me focus on what I need to get done for the particular week. 
So I think this first week here, I did plan in this Amplify planner first. And then I thought, oh, I'm gonna try the Compact Vertical. So I planned out the same week in this planner, which is again, redundant, but I had the time to do it. And then this is kind of where I fell back in love with this compact vertical and I planned the week out for my weekly planning session in this planner. And then I went back and kind of started to fill things in. So I know in August, I'm not gonna have time to update both of these weekly planners. And I need a weekly planner, like I said, to do those weekly planning sessions. They're typically what I film here on YouTube. And it helps me really focus in on the week. Like I have to have this. So um, right now it's probably confusing because I've been jumping between these two planners. But I have also liked the creative part of it like as a hobby and trying different planner Kate stickers in the different layouts and seeing how they're working. Again, once August gets here, one of these two is probably going to sit on the shelf more than it's getting used. But I am enjoying the summer break um, while I have it. So today's video, I am going to plan in this. I've been gravitating towards this. I don't know why that is. And then the last book is my Everyday Carry, my Everything Planner. This is a standard size traveler's notebook. It has been in my lineup for years and years and years. And this is the planner where everything goes right away. So as soon as I commit to something, it's on here. I do use these monthlies that I've explained before. This goes with me when I go to work, when I went on vacation, when I go out to my parents' house, when I go to church, literally everywhere I go, this is what's with me. And I kind of... Um, log my days in here and then as they're happening or if I just need to make some sloppy notes on these pages um, that's what happens and then I can always reference this to fill in my daily archive that I talked about which is again minimal it doesn't take very long to just glance at what happened and rewrite it in that planner and I am okay with that because there's just something more permanent about a bound planner, a coil bone planner versus these inserts that I print at home. And a lot of times I just throw these away once they're done. And I'm okay with that because I have the archive, right? So if I ever need to look at something, I know I can reference it even though these inserts are gone. So that that's my attempt at kind of explaining <laughs> how things have been going. I know I've been jumping around all over the place. Like I said, in May and June, I was purposely doing that and disclosing that on this channel that I just was having fun with all the planners, picking one up, trying it out, not committing to anything. And now I think as we head in to August, you're gonna see me kind of settle down a little bit. Not saying that I won't ever play with other planners because that's kind of the purpose of this channel too. So, and I like it, it's fun. Let's talk about stickers real quick. We are gonna be planning out this first week, which is into August. Um, I did pull this sheet in case I needed some washi. I wanna use my Hello August sticker off my monthly. I probably won't use any of the other stickers in this, but I will use them on my month view. Didn't know if I needed some bullet journal dots. I want to try these individual headers this week. I do use the same kit in my daily archive that I use in here, and they both fit. So like these stickers I could use in this planner or my day designer daily. So I just have those out. Same with these. I haven't used these large Erin Condren stickers in here, but I think it would cover basically a day if there was something big that I needed to cover. I'll need these for my weekend to-do list. Of course, I have the sampler. The sheet that's made for the compact vertical. And then, like I said, the sheets that I'm going to use in both planners 
weekly or daily, I have an assortment of labels. So a lot of stickers here for the week, um, but I will have plenty, plenty, plenty. Okay, let's get the headers down. So I had also said in some of my previous videos, this sheet that's made for the compact vertical, I love it. Um, but this washi is a little bit wider and I actually like that in that Amplify planner that I was playing around with and still can't put down for some reason. But in this planner, I like the standard size washi up at the top. I think it looks really nice. So that's where I'm gonna kind of set this to the side if I need to use some of these other elements, I can. But I need to pick out my washi. So I can either do the washi off the sampler or a different washi off of the washi sheet. So this one has a little more darker green, I feel like, than this one. Or is it the same? Maybe it's the same. And then this one is obviously more pink. But I think I really like the citrus. Oh, that's the difference. On this one, like the oranges are sliced open. Where on this one, they're just, you know, whole oranges. I think I'm going to go with this one off of the sampler. So that will be the first step is to put that down. It does cover up the month and the year. I haven't been really putting anything down over that and that's okay. I know what month it is and what year it is. When I open my planner, just to make it a little bit easier for me. And we will put down the dates next. Monday is the 29th. not to believe basically for me when july is over it means the summer is over because i'll be back to working in the office and getting all the things done so this will really be the last week here that i have time to get all of those extra things done this summer i really focused on decluttering our house and deep cleaning all of the spaces and I feel like I've done a great job with that so that makes me feel a little better because I have less to do this last week maybe we can just kind of roll slowly in to some sort of schedule we'll see okay so I do keep these in the same order I used to switch them and do Monday, Tuesday, um, but my brain has been cooperating. So we're gonna go in the order that they have the dates printed, except for that weekend, because I do combine my, my Saturday and Sunday, which you'll see here in a minute, and have a bigger to-do list tracking section down here. It's been working out really well. I was actually surprised by that. I guess maybe we'll see if that has to change too once I go back to work, if the weekends get busier. Um, but for now, that's a good thing about planners and stickers. If it's not working, you can change it. And you can change it multiple times depending on what stage of life you're in. So this now becomes Saturday, Sunday. And then we're gonna finish this off here. Actually, I actually think I can use the this week off of here for this side. And then I use these sheets from old kits. You can get them for new kits too. There's different options, which I've shared in multiple videos. This week I'm using the one that has the to-do list in the tracker. 
And what I do is I bump it over to make sure I am covering the calendar and try to line up the lines on the sticker. Oh, you know what? That was when I used a lined option. Maybe I want to go back to that. I had been using, yeah, I think I'm going to. I had been using just the lined insert and I actually think that that works better for me. So I'm gonna put this back on so I don't waste it. I can use that in a different week. So here's the lined option that you see in all the previous weeks. And that's where I can kind of line it up because the spacing on this sticker is the same as the spacing in the planner, which I'm sure Kate did deliberately. And then again, I bump it over to cover the calendar and line up the spaces in the planner with the sticker. Now that leaves the space here, but I fill that with a checklist. So it's not just like empty, random looking space. So we'll do that next, I need a checklist. And I have a few left on this compact vertical sheet. I use this in my monthly planning prep, but I think maybe we can make it work. So I'll put down a few over here first. Looks like I'm gonna have to trim maybe one of those off. I do put thin washi at the bottom of my page, so it might be covered anyway. And then we'll do the same thing over here. And again, I put those next to the sticker to fill in the space. All right, let's trim off this one bottom dot. And then we need this sheet back out because I use the thin washi on the bottom. And I'm going to use this green strip. And yeah, that's gonna cover, but that's okay the last line. I really like how the thin washi kind of pulls the top and the bottom of the page together. So I don't mind losing one to do line. Now we kind of have the base of the page ready to go. And now we'll do the weekly overview. So again, off camera here, I'm referencing my everything planner. Let me get turned to August. I am still using a Pilot Blue G2.5 in this planner. And I'll really be using probably basically these three sheets. They're my favorite to use in here. They go all the way across, except for this sheet that has some halvesies on it, but I typically use that in other planners. And then just some basic labels. And then for some kind of fun events, I use the decorative labels. So my first not fun task is I have new tires being put on my vehicle on the 30th. So we're going to use, let's do this green one, just because I feel like with the headers, there's already a lot of orange. And then I have been absolutely loving finding a black and white icon to put kind of as a little bit of filler space. And I typically use these cars for like travel, but I think it will work out 
fine to use it for car maintenance. And again, that's on the 30th. Now, I put these things kind of in order, but leave room for checklists underneath. So I'll leave a little bit of room in case I have a high level task or appointment before that, but then lots of room for to-do lists underneath. I do wanna put down my Hello August sticker before I forget. I do have a pedicure appointment on the first. It's kind of a rare treat for me, so we'll use a decorative sticker for that. Guys, when I was flipping through here, I found this. This is a new planner Kate sheet, so I'm gonna waste this one icon sticker and switch that out with the perfect car maintenance sticker. How can I resist that? And then for this one, I'll use the little nail polish bottle. If you like those black and white stickers, you can just search BW on the Planner Kate website and all of them will come up. We also have a sorority social this week. So I'll put that on another decorative sticker. Probably use one of these cupcakes. All right, so that will be on Friday the 2nd. And then I have some Old Navy Super Cash that is going to be available on the 3rd. And I might use it to do some back to school shopping. I'm gonna actually use a Habsy for that with one of these shopping bag black and white icons. And that starts on the third. Now I do want to look back at the first week in July because I think my husband was on call and did I mark it? I didn't. I was just thinking about how I want to mark something in this planner that spans over multiple days. So my husband will be on call basically Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let's go back to husband's on call. I think I could use some really thin washi or even like the medium washi to mark that down the side. Let's see what the green looks like. And then this might be long enough to do the Saturday, Sunday as well. But I think I actually like how it is over this sticker, kind of a layered effect. So I am going to go ahead and finish putting down church items on Sunday. That way the sticker goes over that. And I'm going to use the dash labels for that and we'll mix it up with a pink and a green. Okay, so we'll put both of those down. And now I feel like I can finish 
putting down the on call sticker. And while I have this out, I'll go ahead and do Wednesday night's church as well. And of course, pick out some black and white icons for that. I'm actually going to use these ink pens because I do take notes. Mix it up a little bit, a little bit different than just like a church sticker. And I love my Sunday morning coffee, so we'll go with that for this one. Okay, so the last kind of scheduled thing that I need to put in is pickleball. And we usually end up playing multiple times a week. So I am gonna use these and just kind of reserve them. Some of them are scheduled games, some of them are pop-up games, but I'll put the scheduled ones in first and then I'll have these left over if a pop-up game comes up. All right, so we have one. Actually, I'm gonna put this up towards the top even though it's 6 p.m. because I don't think I'll have anything else before that. And then this one will obviously go below the tire installation. And then Thursdays, is at the same time as my pedicure, so it doesn't really matter. And then yes, Kate does have pickleball stickers. I was thrilled when those were released. And we'll put one of those down on each of those. Now I am going to break out, I think, my old, actually it's newer, favorites. And see if there's a sticker I want to use for my husband's on call. I really want to try the teardrops in this planner. It should be in here. So I have the small option or the larger option. And I think that looks great. And then we'll just write on call in here. Okay. The other thing is Monday is Planner Kate's 10 year anniversary. I'm so excited about that. I did a reveal of the 10 year sampler that you'll get with every order and that video should be up by now. So that was this week. It's in the PK Earth colorway, which I think is really special. It has some new stickers that aren't released yet. Just really, really love that. So I definitely want to mark that on the 29th. But I almost wanted to try one of these full boxes for that because it's going to be a big day. I don't know how they fit. Let's pull this up and if I have to layer, I will. But I think that that is just a fun event. I'm so happy for Kate. And I have been wanting to try one of these full boxes in here anyway. So if I do, actually, I think I'm just gonna center it, like I said, and then layer the only one thing that I have. Oh, can I put it? I have room. I'm gonna put that down here 
and then we have this super fun okay how am i going to label that i think i'll put a decorative box over that it's a lot of stickers for me but that's okay and then i think i have a planner kate sticker i do so we'll use one of those as I'm filming this, I don't have sale details. I don't know what the code is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be 30, 40, 50% off. I have no idea. Um, but I can write that in after Kate posts and releases that information. So I think for now, I'm just going to write in Planner Kate turns 10 sale. And I like that. So this week really filled up pretty quickly. I said I was going to kind of maybe ease back into a schedule, but it looks like we're just going to go full force, which is fine. Story of my life. I like a full planner anyway. I think it looks really nice when there's um, lots of things going on, sort of like this week has started out. So there we have it. Guys, I can't live without my week number. That's how I function. So this is week 30. This will be week 31. I've got to get that in there. And I think I'm just gonna use one of these. All right, now I am done. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you back next time. Bye friends. Bye.